Greetings conquerors, I'm Chevalier and I bid you welcome to Indonesian situation and guide of Mali. Mali is a high level nation, it has a difficulty to play if you're fighting the Europeans, basically that means in the late game. If it's in the early game, it's an easy nation to play as if you want to conquer all of this region. But remember, for the late game part fighting the Europeans, unless you have a huge power base and you can somehow block the expansion into this side here, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Uh, but first let's actually go to the TI so you can see everything here and right now let's actually go into the tabs for the initial situation and how you should maximize the start. If we click here on the economy tab you are swimming in cash. You as you can see here you have gold, gold and one more gold here that you're gonna take with this in so you're gonna swim in cash although let it be noted that you're gonna get a huge amount of inflation we can actually stop some of this with the uh, uh, with using uh, an advisor there, but still you're gonna suffer tons of inflation for this amount of cash that you gain. But still, in the early game, it's gonna it's gonna get you enough uh, enough compatibility to actually boost your dominance quite quickly. Now, if we do this, you have nine ducats, pretty a huge amount of cash. If we do this, you won't need ships to any degree. Uh, you you will make most of the cash here. Uh, if you actually move your zone to here, basically you actually go to Team 2, where you can make 6.1. So, again, some modifications there, we'll talk about this in the trade tab. But yeah, you make tons of cash. If you go for a trade economy here, a trade, sorry, not trade economy, you'll see that you actually collect in Team 2, it's your end trade node. Right? And you actually also collect here, and you push from Mokasima. Pretty standard. You don't have access to anything else, so this is the standard that you're gonna do. So keep it at that. On trade. Now let's go to the states. You are Sunni and you have the Dehmi because you have creatures that are animist and you have to convert them. Pretty standard stuff. There's nothing much to say here. Converting the Dehmi, uh, you currently they do not have any land, so it should be done quite easily. But let's now go to every state and see what you can pull off. Uh, as for the Amherst here, as you can see they own 41% uh, with time we should actually remove control from the Amherst slowly slowly to just to make sure that you don't waste that much cash the, to, so you don't waste actually efficiency basically not cash. Uh, as for here you'll see that you can call a diet, you're gonna get 75 then you can actually demand military support for 150 points, you can lose the loyalty. I recommend that you do this as soon as possible mainly because you want the modifier to go up so you can actually reduce the control that the Amherst have over your, over your provinces. And this is it on the Amherst. Uh, it's possible for you if you plan on reducing the control that, uh, that the Amherst have to execute the minister as well, so you can get the level 2 minister there. It's gonna be tricky, but you can hold it on and if you can actually remove some lands from their control, whatever it's your pick, you should be able to pull some nice stuff off. I recommend reducing uh, Bengdugu basically because they have only one military, uh, one uh, point, one development in the manpower. But this is for more advanced stuff. For the Dikmi here, it's quite hard for you to actually get loyalty here. My recommendation is to just keep it like this. Keep it at 50 if you really want to pull some stuff off. You can uh, get attacks, but you need events there, it's gonna be a little bit problematic. A minister here, you don't need a trader, you already have the Diplo guy there. You can, to some degree, if you give lands to Dikmi, pull it off, basically. Just uh, give control to Dikmi, then get this minister here. But you're not gonna be able to convert those lands to Sunni, you're gonna have to reduce, uh, take out the Dikmi. Again, it's a little bit problematic in that point of view. As for the rest, it's basically just loyalty gain, some manpower gain as well, so it's a, a mix of uh, Amirs and uh, the Ule Ulema. Now, for the Merchant Guild. Here, as you can see, only 5%. It's gonna be really hard to get the stuff up here. Just grab Monopoly Chargers, you're gonna gain some stuff here. 15%, you're gonna gain the trade efficiencies on development cost. Uh, and then just uh, gain ducats, basically, to lose loyalty. Just wait till it goes to 65, then just gain the ducats. You uh, go to 60, then gain the ducats, basically, so you can get a little bit more efficiency. You're gonna waste some prestige for for the points gain. 
As for this, you're gonna have to give them control of some provinces. I recommend giving them Kyor here, and at some point giving them uh, Gold Coast and Benin as well. Uh, on this side of the world, uh, basically the Ivory Coast trade node, you need to control as much trade power as possible because uh, the guys from uh, from Iberia, basically Castile and Portugal, will try to push trade power from here. And you need to safeguard as much trade power here simply because you're going to expand to this side here and try to gain cash from that side. And it's going to be a bottleneck until you can move into Seville and Genoa and do the late game. And that's basically just for the for the late game. So with the Dikmi and the, the Dikmi here, and uh, as for contributions, you're gonna have a decent amount of cash to actually get your stuff rolling. As for the Ulema here, a little bit problematic, though if you do this, you can actually, you'll have to give a little bit more land here to the, to the Ulema, so you can actually get some more, uh, some more uh, basically influence there, so you can actually good ministers. Uh, if you actually see here, you, you already recruited this. This is the diplomat, and unfortunately, the master of maintain Joma cannot be recruited. I would look. I talked about this to actually reduce the what's it called the the cash prop, the inflation problems there with the master of maintain. You'll be able to get it once you give some lands to those to those guys. You're probably gonna give them Kayor and any problem that has uh, over ten. Uh, probably Burek can be given, if I'm not mistaken here. Yeah, Burek can be given to the merchant guilds if you can, if you want to pull that off. But yeah, you can get their their merchant uh, the the influence up to 40 to actually get this minister here. So for this guy, just give them one province, any province that you see fit to give them to actually gain their to gain stuff. Basically, that's gonna get them 60, uh, 50, uh, sorry, 52. Then you can actually recruit the minister, then recruit the inquisitor 77. Uh, they are disloyal, basically they can got disloyal unfortunately. You can actually, this is gonna go back, no problems here. But remember, if you take some stuff here, you're gonna lose uh, stuff from the Dehmi. It's annoying, but you have to balance them out. My recommendation is just, just kill them. Although, let it be noted that Dehmi will give you technology cost bonus. Uh, modifiers basically so that can help you to some degree and now you can actually demand here as well pretty standard stuff on the states let's go to court you have a shit to king and a shit heir my recommendation here is to just uh, get this guy off if you at the start you have zero prestige so you can actually do it at the start then you can can go for these things here so you can actually get minus 60 prestige but yeah just kill this guy uh let's actually You go this really again and you're gonna do this fuck him and you're gonna have an air you're still 34 by the time you die you should be able to have a decent air if you're lucky enough now on national focus I mean national focus then you get the this guy here for the national actually sorry for the missionary strength is better because you have tons of conversion to be, to be done here better relations were done guy here Whatever floats your boat, uh, right now I do recommend going for the Discipline guy Simply because he's better and you can see you gain 8 points even if your guy is shit You gain 8 points and you should be able to do some nice conquering uh, Some nice taking and conquering with uh, with disarming power Now, let's go into government, your kingdom Not much to say here, national unrest, uh, justified demands Quite decent I would say, for you to, to gain some stuff other than this, not much more to say, a lot of non-accepted cultures, quite annoying to be honest, but yeah, that's how it is. As for diplomacy here, here on diplomacy, it's pretty much random stuff. Uh, you'll have to use this uh, map mode quite a lot to see who actually hates you, to actually maximize your efficiency, for example. Uh, Machina is hostile to me, so you should probably rival Machina, rival Zene. Uh, Jin, Rebel Kong as well. If you look here, you have a decent amount of uh, available rivals. So all these Jolo fighters, Machina, uh, plenty of rivals. As for as for allies, try to ally some big guys. For example, Timbuktu as well. Whatever is big, 
and can be allied quite easily and they actually rival your enemies as well so you can actually form some alliances against those guys again you have to use uh, this map mode uh, you can actually also check my guide on that part on this part and you can actually uh, advance quite fast basically if you follow some simple simple rules more about this in the expansion guide we talked about money we talked about trade let's talk about technology 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 as you can see is feudalism you haven't embraced that it's 50 percent modifier annoying i know but still it's more plus 50 percent modifier uh, this will give you up to 913 you're gonna be slow to take up and you're gonna be even slower to get renaissance here so prepare for a for a long trek it's not as worse as in previous patches when you had to westernize but still uh, you're gonna have to wait a little bit till the feudalism hits here then pull some more stuff up it's gonna be difficult to get your to get your stuff up as for admin as for the technology simply admin here uh, go for admin whenever you are max basically to actually maximize your points maybe you're gonna get a body fire here for diplomacy uh, save your points for an idea if at all possible for military take it when you want to go to war when you feel threatened uh, anything that will help you basically help you win uh, also as the same with this guy is just try to use the modifiers the minus five percent it's really gonna help you in the long run it's really gonna help you if you pay attention to those kind of things and that is all on on uh, technology institutions that i told you they're gonna be quite hard for them to actually arrive here as you can see in your capital you game 0.60 per month uh, it means that you gain what <sighs> you need uh, eight months to get one now you need seven months to get one uh, two per year you'll need about 50 years I think right so you get uh, two per year and it well, about 50 50 to 60 years to actually get enough in your capital to have feudalism so that they can actually spread so quite a lot you'll probably have to use the influences from from these guys when you actually take uh, Cape Verde here and uh, arguing as well and if at all try to bait them into one taking all of these lands we'll talk about this I'm not sure if it works but you can actually bait them into taking one, one of these provinces or having Jolof being really weak again uh, smart stuff that you can actually bait the eye into doing but yeah this is all for technology for ideas if you have the meditation minus 10 percent the drawings of hiddens plus two with that max you have immunity combat ability Penetration is not that great, Torrents of Hiddens is decent, but you're mostly gonna be Sunni around this region here, so it really does not matter. Although some of animes you can actually squash them. Again, you do not need it that much, but it's still useful. Infantry compatibility is always useful, so nothing much to say there. Income from vessels, again, decent if you actually want to play for a large amount of vessels, but yeah, not that great overall. Production efficiency, decent. Manpower descent, discipline okay, early navigation shit, merchants plus one, and the deficiency. Overall, I would say that they do not have anything useless, except for the navy tradition. But it's still gonna be useful when you want to fight the Europeans on the on uh, on the sea. So they're gonna be decent basically. As for uh, I say this thing it's useful if you want to play with large vessels which is recommended but yeah now let's go to national ideas and see what do I recommend for you well I do recommend for you exploration if it, it's if it is at all possible for you to expand into this side of the exploration I truly recommend it but it's highly unlikely it's truly highly unlikely that you're gonna be able to get tech 5 get exploration ideas and take this before they can take it uh, to move here you'll need a full ideas you might not be able to move from Tarza you need probably a modifier you need a product where you'll probably need a, a, gen a general uh, advisor for the trade rate uh, for the coding range there again I haven't done any test but it's doable for you to move but be warned you should probably just wait and see if they get to keep Verde if they get to keep Verde and have a present here it's gonna be a little bit tricky now if you want to go for the exploration and try for, to go for exploration exploration expansion followed by a 
a maintenance idea or followed by let's say religious ideas as well they're gonna be really useful uh, or you now if you don't want to go for religious ideas uh, humanist ideas are gonna be useful as well in admin uh, as all well can be useful for influence or a military again this is whatever floats your boat and whatever you want to play as Usually I will probably go influence if I want to expand into this guy so I can actually save my points Then probably go for religious to have a free CB Then probably go for military idea then humanist and other military idea again it Depends on your own playstyle past the first two ideas depends on how you want to go now for the uh, let's say recommended one if you can act, actually go and colonize it's pretty standard land conquest influence followed by two points in admin followed by by a military idea I would say because you're not gonna be able to use either religious or humanist at the same time you can go for diplomatic ideas that they're gonna help you as well to actually integrate f vessels faster uh, but the military idea would be more useful it's also possible if you are let's say tricky enough to go for a military idea first I know this sounds, this sounds uh, not that bad, it, it's probably risky, but it can be done with quantity or even with offensive ideas. Basically, you're big enough to have a decent amount of troop numbers, so you don't need quantity, you're gonna have a decent amount of manpower if you conquer all of these regions here. So that means that if you have enough, uh, enough uh, good troops, you can actually kill some of these guys really fast. Although, let it be noted again, that you might need exploration to actually get to Morocco and to get to these guys here. So, the recommended path that I'll take, I'll go for a military idea first, followed by uh, an admin, then saving the diplomatic ideas, or going for exploration ideas, or even expansion ideas. So, uh, military idea followed by expansion, followed by exploration. This is tricky. But it can be done. In theory, it can be done and it can be, can be pulled off. You need to have this slot here. Uh, also, it can be doable for you to just um, go for exploration first, then start to colonizing this part here, then moving like this. Again, if you don't, you want to focus on exploration and want to stop the Europeans from going to the to basically uh, Asia, uh, to Asia, basically to China, to India, etc. You can pull this off and block their expansion into this part here if you want to go for exploration. You do have the cash because you have the gold mines, so it's doable. It's doable. The other options there are, for example, economic ideas, I think, for the yearly inflation reduction plus 10%. That is doable as well. Also, if you want to build a large empire, but if you can see here, most of your lands on this part here are steppes and are savannah. Right, steps, savanna, jungle, desert. So you're not gonna be able to use that many points if you look here. Right, it's not me. Let's look at me. And you'll see that if we are savannah and it's tropical, so you're gonna pay more points. Points. So it's not useful to build a large empire here. Most likely, it'd be better for you to just to migrate into Europe at some point in time with your lands. It's not possible to do any kind of. Uh, any kind of stuff around this area, so same goes for this area here, and they're basically really poor, so building uh, huge nations in here is quite costly. Now, this is it for ideas. Remember, exploration, they're gonna help you, you have the cash to do it, although you might want to go for military first. Again, depends how you want to put it off. If you want to go for military first, I'd really recommend focusing military here just because you want the points. Now, let's go for mission decisions. We can of course unify Islam and other decisions for Islam. Other than this, there are some flavor events, but not that important. You can't form any other nations, so you're gonna remain with Mali. When you form the empire, you're gonna have, you're gonna have this as your own culture, basically you're gonna become accepted again. It's not that big, it's quite small to be honest. So yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. Other than this, try to use them to your advantage as always. For stability and expansion, pretty much standard stuff. Reduce for exhaustion when you feel that you need to reduce for exhaustion. Boost stability to 1 when you have the reduced unity to 0. 
to to 100%. Sorry. As for this, I do recommend going for the global settlers because you need the increasing uh, ability to to basically take these lands. You'll you'll want to waste some manpower to kill these guys so that they they're not gonna be that troublesome. I, because it's tropical again, you're gonna be really fucked with tropical if you want to colonize into this region here. I think it will be faster for you to actually get over to Benin than colonize this province here. I mean that is my honest opinion here. It will be faster for you to go move all the way to Benin and conquer Benin rather than uh, colonizing this. So that is the main issue that I have here. You might even actually let the Europeans colonize them and just take them from them. They're gonna be even more useful. Although remember that this lands here of Sao Tome and uh, Fernando Po can be colonized easily and they have no natives. And then you can actually get claims on Lawango and move your troops there and co uh, conquer this, then move all the way to here and and we'll talk about this into the expansion guide. Religion. As I told you before, you are Sunni. And if you look here, you'll see that basically most of your lands are, are pretty much animus, so they have to be converted, so you'll have to keep on sending this guy. We choose the we ch chose the plus two guy here, that is gonna help you. Now for your piety. If you look at here, you, these guys are animist, these guys are uh, Sunni. These guys are Sunni as well, uh, so it's gonna be troublesome to actually get your piety up so that you can convert really fast. It might uh, uh, be to your best option to actually choose your tar your attack targets based on their religion first, and of course based on your uh, ability to expand as second, or where, where do you want to expand. Again. Try to make sure that you have full piety so you can convert these lands faster. Or if you're into advanced intake, just go for lack of piety. But make sure that you move into this guys, into those guys one by one, basically. Right? So you go for minus piety uh, and uh, what's minus piety, lack of piety, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And then you actually want to go for piety. So try to uh, make sure that you actually go for uh, for the extremes, as it's uh, always done with uh, Sunni religions. Now. For military, you have force 14 land, uh, land force limit with the ability to actually hold 50% calf. So right that at uh, this moment in time, you have two and eight. So I first go to build another two, then build another two as well. If you get the cash, you're gonna have the cash if you do this from the states here. As for contributions, and you're gonna have the cash to build other two troops as well. And that is going to be up to your maximum force limit. As for your ships, they are not that useful. I do recommend uh, basically just uh, checking how much cash you do here. Basically, if you actually protect trade in the Ivory Coast, I know you're basically just going to lose cash. Unfortunately, if you actually pull this off here and you actually go for full fleet maintenance, you'll see that you still probably lose cash. You still lose cash, so my best opinion here, if you're not gonna use these troops here, uh, just mothball them, they have no use for you, just mothball them, it, honestly not even mothball them, just kill the fleet maintainers, and send uh, the trade ships here to, to some degree to basically just get, get some cash from this region, I mean, like get like 0 0.005, I mean, it's, it's profit, it's small but it's profit. And this is all for the military. If you look at the forts, you just have a level 1 fort here, so not that much, nothing impressive in this area here. We have our subjects who already talked about estates. I guess you, uh, sorry, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Not, I guess. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, this is part one of the guide, the usual situation. Next part will be the expansion and how should you expand. Of course, it's gonna be quite a little bit shorter, I guess. And if you have any kind of feedback, just comment. Uh, tell me what you want, uh, what you want to see, what you like to see more. If you want me to be more in detail about some stuff. At the same time, if you like the content, consider liking, subscribing. Well, again, comment. I really appreciate feedback. I want to build this channel up and see, uh, see what kind of content can I pull. See to to basically uh, pull the highest efficiency from the content. I'm Chevalier. And I'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.